All right, Houston, we are back. Good to see everybody again. Got Leroy Gibbons with us this morning. Good morning, Leroy. Good morning, Tex. How's it going this morning? Man, it's going outstanding. I tell you what, we had a blast last night, didn't we? Yes, we did. I kind of put a blurb up on my Facebook and said, name that politician. Wow, there you go. That is awesome. I tell you what, we were at the Sam Houston racetrack yesterday for the Houston Steve Party, and it was a great event. We had under just under 15,000 people that showed up. It was a wonderful time. Got to hang out with uh, Congressman uh, McCall, Congressman Brady. Had a good time. Jared Woodfield with the Harris County Republican Party, and there were several others that were there in attendance, and we had some really good representation and uh, leadership here for this part of our state. And uh, what all did you see last night, Leroy? Uh, there were all kinds of interesting signs, uh, interesting people, everybody from Uncle Sam to, you know, the... Uh, Lady Liberty, huh? Lady Liberty, yes. Man, we got some good pictures of we that We do last have those night. pictures up, yes. All right, well, that's real good. We heard uh, people like uh, Mattress Mac out there sharing with everyone, and we had some other great speakers that were there last night. And we had a really good time. It was really neat to see so many people coming together and uh, listening to some really good speakers. A lot of people were out there uh, sharing their concerns and uh, we had a good time listening and validating concerns last night, didn't we? Yes, we did. It was very interesting. Most definitely. We're talking about interesting. Today's election day. So you went and voted this morning, right, Leroy? Yes, I did. I hope everyone did. Well, there you go. Man, I tell you what, I took advantage of that thing they call early voting so I didn't have to go wait in those long lines today. But I do look forward to going by the polls today and uh, getting to visit with everyone. Well, you know, I went a little bit later and it really wasn't that bad. Walked in, walked right up to the voting booth and voted, no problem. Well, there you go. I think it's gonna be a different story after lunch today, and especially yeah. this evening. It'll be interesting, one. But it? if you can hit those off times, like right now, perfect time to go. There you go, most definitely. Well, you know, voting is an, uh, a, a privilege that we have being here in this country. It's one of our rights and uh, it's something that we should all exercise. There's been so much that has been sacrificed so that we have the opportunity to go and vote. And even if we're gonna have to stand in lines today, that's absolutely okay, because there's others that have gone through a whole lot more than just standing in line so that we can have that right to vote. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, yes, definitely. You're not dipping your finger in ink. Yes, that's <laughs> right, most definitely. Most definitely. So all that is extremely important. And uh, well, I'm personally, I went out there and voted for uh, Roy Morales, and uh, I encourage Houston, if you haven't gone out there to vote, be sure to go out there and vote. If you're looking to vote for a conservative person for our city's mayor, I would encourage you to definitely vote for Roy Morales. Uh, my next door neighbor is running for uh, city council at large. His name's Rick Rodriguez, and a great guy, family guy, has a heart and passion for uh, people. Uh, one of our finest police officers here with uh, HPD. And so uh, please remember that as you're out there voting. And uh, Rick's a great guy, good family man. And uh, those were some of the people that I voted for that we had a, a, a really great time out there casting those ballots. And uh, we have the 11 propositions for everyone to uh, look at. And uh, be sure that you vote for those as well. We're getting out to uh, get to vote for people, but then there's also business at hand to be voted at. And so we've been having a good time out here on the campaign trail. Uh, recently, we're in the uh, Prime Magazine for the month of November and December. And uh, this is a magazine that Leroy is in right here. And he's one of the uh, photographers. And there you go. You can see Leroy Gibbons. Great picture of you there. As well That's as when you're here. over in Europe, right? Yes, I think I was in Belgium at the time. Oh, man. And uh, one of the nice things was we got to be featured there this month. There we are right there in the uh, middle. If you see that, there's a picture of text there. And uh, so that took place that we just found out on a Friday. And we also got to be in some uh, other magazines. One of the other magazines that we're in is going to be for uh, Paper City. And so if you haven't got your copies of Paper City or for Prime Living Magazine, you can check us out. They got a good picture of me in there as well. We were over at the uh, Montage and we had a great time for a great event. And there we go. Everyone can see a nice little black and white picture. There you go. You see it, Houston? There you go. So that's a good picture of me smiling, looking off somewhere. I don't know exactly, but uh, having a good time, having a good time. 
And so I want to uh, remind everyone as we're out here on election day that we have a $20 challenge and we need 60,000 people for here from Southeast Texas to go to www.textforcongress.com. That's textforcongress.com and go out there and uh, check out our website and take that $20 challenge. We have 60,000 people that donate $20 that raises $1.2 million that we need. Now, I'm running a $5 million campaign, so the $1.2 million attracts the other $3.8 million that we need. So please, if you haven't already, go out there. $20. If you're unhappy with our government right now, you know, there's only one way to change what is going on in Washington, D.C., and that is to change the person that represents you in Washington, D.C. You're here in the Houston area, and you're in District 18. That means changing who currently fills that position, which is Sheila Jackson Lee. If you're unhappy, you got to make a stand. Now, the good book says that where your heart lies, there also lies your treasure. Houston, I'm asking you to go ahead and donate at least $20 to our campaign. It takes money to win a uh, campaign, and this is the biggest race that we're going to have in Congress next year. We're talking about District 18, 651,000 constituents. The incumbent's been in there for 16 years. Once again, if you want change in Washington, D.C., you got to change the person that represents you. For others that are watching this video, you say, well, Tex, I don't live in District 18. I can't vote for you. You can vote with your checkbook. Bottom line is this, you may not be able to vote for me, but I can vote for you. As congressmen, we discuss several issues, especially in the subcommittee level. And it's, are these issues gonna be taken to the House floor? They have congressmen all across the country. Let's, as an example, you might have someone that's in Wyoming, and they're gonna talk about the horses that run free in Wyoming. Well, they'll choose someone from Texas, down here in Houston, as well as someone in Raleigh, North Carolina, to sit there and say yay or nay if this is going to go and be discussed on the floor of the House. And so that's why it's so important. There's several things for other congressmen that vote on. So if you're looking for someone that's going to represent you and your core fundamental values and your philosophies, one of the greatest ways is to help support other congressmen. It is so important. We deal with national issues and we're here to represent you at a federal level. So even though you can't vote for me personally, you can go ahead and contribute finances to our campaign that allows you to be able to help us to get the votes that we need by educating people who Tex CRISPR is and Tex for Congress. So we thank you so much. Once again, we encourage you to be out there voting today. Now, if you're also looking for something to do this evening, where is it that our people can come and hang out? Don't you have an event this evening, Leroy? Yes, I do. It's an uh, event within Houston called the, the Village. It's uh, the Village. It's going to be at 43rd and Ella behind Wachovia and next to Kroger. We start at 5 o'clock and go to 8. would love to see you come by and say business to business networking meeting. There you go. That is awesome. So that's right there in the heart of my district as well. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, go vote, come by, have a wine or beer, uh, do a little networking, talk about the day. Yeah. There you go. Hey, meet us over there at 5 o'clock. We want to know who you voted for today. And uh, come have a beer with us. We'll, we'll have a good time. And once again, it's going to be where, Leroy? It's 43rd and Ella. That's just north of the loop. Um, it's right next to uh, Kroger's and right, next right, to right Kroger. behind a Starbucks and the uh, Washington Mutual Bank right there. Right there, 43rd and Ella. There you go, right there in the heart of our district. You can't miss it. Well, Houston, it's been a joy and honor to be able to visit with you today. Do we have some more guests that are going to be coming on board? Two more guests. All right, we got two more guests that are going to be right here with us. And we're going to have Hugo Alberto Ham with Sand Dragon Entertainment and Design. And we're also going to have uh, Anna Curry come by and visit with us as well. So we will be right back, Houston, and look forward to seeing you soon.